Hey guys, it's watching one and only. My name is AJ. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Build a Cargo Port. And I've got some good news over here. Look. Well, it seems to be good news. This is like the area that it always froze on. Uh, and I thought it was something to do with the cruise ship. I went over there. I removed all the paintings. However, after I removed all the paintings, I went into the engine room of the uh, cruise ship. And the engine was on, and that was a bunch of redstone powering those two big, like, V12 engines. All those pistons going, the water cooling was all running in there. And I think that's what was causing it. That's so much redstone to sort of try and uh, load on the edge of the boundary. But that's great, because now I can actually extend, I've already tried to extend it, or I extended it up a little bit. Uh, I can now extend up to my normal sort of 11 or 12 trunks. Sometimes I go further, some, like when I'm... In the middle of the city, I usually put it all the way to 16, uh, so I can see really far. But it doesn't seem to be causing any problems anymore, which is great. I'm very, very happy with that. I also went ahead and I finished off the floor, or like the zoning areas, uh, that we started last episode. So like the clay areas and the uh, like smooth areas. That might be a little bit too big for this area. I can feel some tearing going on. Uh, some clay underneath the uh, two military ones uh but yeah and i think it makes it look a lot neater i think it also adds a lot more color or not color um i don't know depth i, I hate using the word depth and, and and stuff like i always do i always use depth and detail i need i need some better words for it but you guys always know what i mean uh, so now that we've got those in, we can do some uh, more groundwork, but like no parking areas, no parking zones. And obviously, we can use yellow clay for this. We only need yellow clay. We don't need any other sort of clay to go in it. Uh, and we like right, an area, don't put anything down here uh, because it's very, very important. And I think one of the most impor uh, important parts would be this area here. So these are easy to do, but I don't know about you. Uh, a lot of you are a lot better at world edit than I am. You know, using the, the wand. And I have never found a way of doing a checkered pattern with world edit. If you guys know of any way, like, you know, like being able to select an area, like from that point to that point, and then I want to have it this block and this block and i want to have them sort of checkered like this i don't know because although it's not really that big it's a first world problem isn't it it's a first world problem i can't checker my floor as quickly as i would like to not not many people complain about about that problem however it is it is frustrating anything any menial task it needs to be done because it looks so good like already even though we've only got like this sort of slither of it on the side it makes this area look so cool uh even when you look down on the map uh just what we've got here it's looking so cool uh and it's such a simple detail the, the yellow is perfect for this is just the default vanilla uh yellow for minecraft uh, for yellow clay and it's the perfect um yellow that they would have on a road if you think like uh i used to have school when i was at uh, at my high school there was a school uh, written in yellow sometimes they're written in white but a lot of the time they're written in yellow uh, on the road and it was this perfect almost dirty yellow but fresh yellow in the same way as well you know you could always tell the difference uh, between when they had first put it down and uh, after like three years like you sort of can see the wear on the letters so uh, it, I think it's absolutely perfect for this. Now we're not going to go check it. We're not going to go check it crazy and put check it actually like like entirely all over the map. Um, I want some other sort of forms of of barriers, if you like, ground invisible barriers. You know, barriers that aren't physical, like you can't touch them, but they're just on the ground. Uh, markings, if you like, marking barriers. Uh, and I think we can use just the straight lines. Uh, like, like the road marking, the middle part of the road, uh, but instead of doing them like in a dash formation like you would in the middle of the road, we instead uh, have a solid white line, sort of like we, ha we, have, we have had on some of the sides of the roads, um, but sort of like a, a mark off, you know, no further than this area sort of thing. Um, the only problem that we... that. Now the only problem that we'll have with that is that you actually have the stone. It's 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 a mix of stone as well. Like I couldn't. Oops. 
<laughs> I couldn't put that in there. That would look really weird, wouldn't it? So, wool. We can either use wool, or we can use snow, or we can use quartz. I think snow is probably the best. Wool matches the texture that we've already got. Quartz has an edging around it, but this does not. <laughs> That's a shelf I accidentally picked up when I was breaking stuff in the uh, cargo in the cruise ship. No, oh, by, by the way, nothing's like seriously broken um, in the cruise ship. It's not like set snow block. Uh, it's not anything's like ruined uh, over there. Uh, it's just I haven't got paintings and stuff like that. Lag, lag intensive stuff. So I think maybe adding a double white line. Like around the edges of at least some of the zones. We might do it around all of the zones, but at least some of the zones. And each line that we add on the floor, just, I don't know. It really, really works for me. I really, really like it. The sort of edging around the area. Let me do that around all of them, and we'll be back for the next bit, okay? All right, so we've got this white line that goes all of the way uh, around each zone now. And Every step that we do is making it more interesting. It's looking more busy, uh, looking more uh, industrial. Ow, my ear. Looking more industrial. Uh, really starting to enjoy it. The middle circle here, I want to dress up. I've been thinking about leaving it. Uh, did, did I like it just how it is? I keep going, no, I want, I want to make it clay. So we're going to... Uh, I always forget this. We're going to make a cylinder. 159, 9, uh, I don't know how big, I can't remember, so I'm just going to go like 5 for the moment, 1, okay, 7, 10, 12, 13, it looks like, beautiful, oh, undo, undo, okay, we shall do, I shall do the best by hand. I don't want to redo. Yeah, okay. So then we just got to come around the edge here. <laughs> I don't mind. Circles in Minecraft never work quite as intended. They always sort of overlap to get as close to the perfect circle as possible. Oh, hang on. That's why I wasn't, I wasn't perfectly in the middle. That's why that was. Okay, that's not a problem then. I can... I don't need to redo it or nothing like that. And say, I thought I thought they would at least nearly fit. <laughs> there we go, that one. Now I want to use um, maybe like an orange clay or something like that would be nice. Uh, oops, yeah. an orange clay or something that'd be nice in here. Uh, either orange clay, or, oh, you know, orange clay does work, or red sand is another option. They're very, very close blocks. But I think the sand, sand just looks like sand. So I think we'll go with the orange, uh, orange clay here. And I want to have sort of, let's make sure we actually get in the middle this time. That's the middle. That's the middle. That's definitely the middle. Uh, I want to get like a circle. I might add some yellow in here as well, you know. We, oops, we might add some yellow in here. Okay, so I want some sort of rough, rough-ish like zonings going on. So we're going to come diagonally out this way. And diagonally out this way. And this is somewhat the size of where a crate could go. It's a little bit long, but it's somewhat the size uh, that a crate could go. Now, if we put these on all four angles, it'll look symmetrical from, from every direction. Like this. Uh, off the, oops, not there. Off in this direction. Uh, ooh, that's meant to be stone. And in this direction. I think I've got one more, don't I? Then we'll add some yellow... Some black might work as well, like just um, the probably the blackest block you get. I might use black wool because it's got a little bit of a texture on it, but I do have like a solid, just pure black block, like an abyss, abyss black block uh, that could work as well. If I added those, 
Yeah, no, I think that works. Um, yellow will also work. And black. See, this is my, like, abyss black block. It, like, sucks. Looks like it's actually sucking light out of everywhere. But it sort of works. What have I used on here? I used black wool for these bits. Let's check it out. Uh, you know what? I think I like the black. I think I do like the black wool better. Yeah. So if we had black coming up all the way to the edge. Oh, or not. No, I think we'll just do it as a sort of detail. That one. Oops. I wish I'd stop placing stuff wrong. That one. And down here. Uh, yellow. Do I put? Do I put yellow in the middle, or do I put yellow round the sides? Do I do yellow in the clay parts that I haven't really got anything else on yet? Uh, do I leave it just with the orange and black? I think the orange and black is really working. Uh, I don't definitely don't want to lose that. Ooh, no, not there. Maybe it does need something in the middle. If I placed something in the middle, then it probably, like, my head's telling me that something should have been there. It's usually a pretty good way of telling. And that one. Okay. We're looking good. We're looking very... Although it's a circle, because we've put this X in the middle, it's almost making it look very, very square. Um, I think this will look better, though. Um, so I think... If we have some yellow in these parts, hopefully that will then make it... Uh, oh, yellow or red? Uh, it should make it a little bit more circle. I was thinking maybe red because the, these spots are, all about, are where the crates are landing. Um, hmm. No, i tell you what's a good idea. Oops. I think that's... A pretty good idea. It's just like that. That oops, the hatching is just where the crates are. So you just put them straight down on top of these hatchings. See, obviously it's hard to imagine that there's hatchings there. Ah, but we'll have hatchings on these two, so that should be able to make it a little bit easy to tell. That one. That one. Yeah. Oh, this is going to look so good next to next to each other. Do I need to go this one? I think so. And same as over. Yeah. Same as over here. That one, that one. And then down the sides as well. Okay. Let's jump back for a moment and see what that looks like. I think that makes the, the center here so much more interesting. Uh, it, you know, it looks like an actual main sort of focus point. It looks like the rest of the uh, entire place revolves around that, uh, which is exactly what you want. That's why we've got this big sort of attention, attention attracting, attention attracting crane. I think that sort of makes sense uh, in the middle there. All right. Uh, so this is actually going a lot quicker than I thought. Uh, but as an extra, we're going to go around the outside here. We need to add some sort of barrier. We need to stop people from falling off. We also need to make it so it's not floating. Uh, but that's easy enough to do. We'll probably use something like... We might even use this... Uh, we could use the clay, I suppose. It's not a bad block to, to, to use with. Uh, and have something like this. So we'll have it like one... I don't know if I want it actually one block next to the edge. Or we could use this block. Let's just have a quick look. Obviously, we don't want to make it look like it's floating. I can use well at it so it's not like just floating above the water like this. Um, let's just put a few of them in and see if it looks good with this block as the sort of uh, side wall. I think that would look really good. I think that may already make, looks a lot more solid. Look at that piece of water. How did you do that? Right in the middle of the ocean, there, uh, a glitched up bit of water. Okay, so that'll work. And I'm thinking anvils. Anvils, anvils. 
uh, around the edge here. Now, I don't know, I think that is too often. I think that happens too often. Um, I'll tell you what these anvils also look like. They look like the thing that you wrap the rope around. Do you know what I mean? Like when you're at, when you're at a dock. And I don't like that in the corner. I don't like it in the corner because it's facing in a specific direction. If I do it like there and there, I think it looks a lot better. So what if we went every three? So we leave a block of three in the middle. Such a loud noise. Is, is that still too often? No, I think I like that. And then in between these anvils, I was thinking... Potentially cobblestone walls. I might even use mossy ones because they've got a little line on the bottom. Like this. It's not, oops, it's not the most complicated wall in the world, but it just really, really works. Ooh. I sort of like what happened then. Uh, like a... I want like a, a real... St Ooh. Now that looks too that looks too busy. Too much going on there. I think I just like that. Don't you? you imagine you've wrapped the wrapped the rope around these and you can do like multiple to the same boat and then the boat can't like float away <laughs> while you're trying to unload it and the boat just goes off. Yeah. Okay, that'll work then. And uh, and then buildings. I think buildings are probably the next step. Uh, we've got one building here. We've got one small little more hut shed of a building there, and then there's one here as well. Uh, I might, and I think I will, because this is going to be very, very thin otherwise. I think we're going to go from here to around here-ish. Set one, one, two. We can just extend the land out where this building is and i think i also don't want this building quite touching the road i don't mind that building touching the road uh, but i don't think i like this one touching the road i think i want to set it uh, offset it a little back from it uh -uh. so there's almost almost like a parking spot out the front here it wouldn't be a bad idea having a fuel stop this building being a fuel stop for the lorries. I sort of like the sound of that. So if we do that, we'll have to set it back a little bit further. Uh, so I can get some pumps in. Yeah, I think that's more of the back direction. And then the side of the building can be more here. Doesn't need to be a big building. I sort of think that's a roughly a good size. So let's bring this out a little further. This build's getting bigger and bigger. Whenever I sort of feel like we're getting close to, not completed, but close to seeing the end of the tunnel, we then add a bunch more, <laughs> a bunch more land again. Uh, what ID is that? 358. 358. Oops. There. And this one. I don't need to go up there. There's no need to do that. Okay, uh, so yeah, for the buildings, I'm really not quite sure. If we know that the fuel stop's going to go here, uh, then what I can do is I can actually put these white lines down the edge as, uh, as a, like a, a barrier. You know, don't, or you can cross over this line, but be careful, vehicles might be uh, pulling out. Three, four, five. I'll have a sort of nice five wide roadway here. And I might as well... Ex I might as well extend. How did I get the other one? Where did the other one come from? <laughs> Put this all the way to the edge. Like that. Uh, not there. We'll have a full one there. And then I want the other one. How I got the other one, I don't know. Down this way. And up this road. Um, it'd probably be nice to have a little bit of an entrance here, so I'm going to do one, two, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, oh, that's worked out really nice. Wrong one. No, 
like that. I don't think I need to go any further because this part here is the only part that's going to be the stone. Like from here to there. Set stone. And from here all the way in line with the building to there. Set stone. Yeah. And then we've got this sort of nice cutout area now uh, of where we can have fuel stations and stuff like that. Uh, I could even probably put a couple of little car parks. I think this is the right length, isn't it? Six blocks. Six blocks is what I need. Three. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, yeah, look at that. So we can have a couple, I think two I can fit in, can't I? Two small little vehicle parking spaces here. Uh, fuel pump. Well, let's just extend the building so I know exactly where the front of the building goes. Like that. I think going right to the end is probably the best thing. Uh, we want an entranceway into the... It'll be like a garage, do you know what I mean? Like, um, like we can get some chocolate and stuff like that. Uh, and then there'll just be like one one fuel station here for the lorries. You, need, you don't need many of them. And it'll probably want to be one of those um, private ones. I've got one actually quite close to me. Uh, most fuel stations, uh, at least in the UK, most fuel stations, uh, you fill them up yourself. You put the nozzle in the car and you fill it up. I know some in America are like that, but I also know that in America a lot of them are... Uh, you wait in your car or you go and off and do your stuff and then someone who works at the garage will come out and they'll fill the vehicle up for you uh, There's one of those near me like they were you're not allowed. You're not allowed to touch the uh, the nozzle They control it. They put the fuel in uh, Why I don't know uh, <laughs> Is it is it a matter of trust do they just not like trust you to not blow up the entire garage like <laughs> what, what why why can't i do it i think i want it away from the wall as well uh i think i can go three two blocks i think two blocks is all i need and then we'll grab something like then yeah no that one works oh you can't even see i thought i'd take that because of the line at the bottom but you can't even see the line so i don't need to really uh worry about it We'll have something like this. Uh, black. Uh, nope. Birch. And. Green for petrol. Like petrol and diesel is what we call it in the UK. Uh, I know it's different elsewhere. Uh, slab. Uh, levers. <laughs> uh, do you have them down or up? Now, they're usually hooked in, aren't they? They're hooked in uh, and down like that. Flower pot for a little sandbag, sand-like thing. So, you, if you mess up, you can chuck some sand over it. Um, it could also be used as a bin. Uh, I do have... Do I have mail? I do, yeah. I might have to add these to the houses, look. Little mail can thing. And it looks like you can actually mail people stuff with it. There's another type of post box as well, I think. Pumping po nope. Um mail mailbox. Yeah, like this one. This was on custom NPCs. I thought maybe it would be cool to have those outside the houses uh, as like working uh mailboxes, potentially. Hang on, what was our uh, in the city? What was the fuel put pumps like over here? Because I really liked how we done these. Okay, we had three of them. We had uh, leaded and unleaded. And then we had an item frame as a computer screen, as the, as the heads-up display. And then we used orange at the bottom. Cauldron, yes. Cauldron is what we need. Okay, not a problem. I've got a different way how to do it. So over here, definitely... Where am I? Where, 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 where am I facing? All the, car, all, all the crates in the way is a little bit uh, overwhelming. Uh, we'll use uh, cauldron. Like I said, I really liked like that for a side bin. Have that on that side. Uh, we want signs this time. Oh, I could use these signs for the heads-up display. I think that looks quite neat, don't you? We even have something like I don't know where this goes. Like, is that the entire sign? So if I do like price zero 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 
and we use liters here in the UK. Uh, I think you use gallons when in a in in, in America. Have a look at that then. Can I? I can't tab. Okay. Okay, that was a little. It's a little bit low down, but you know what? It's it's close enough that I'm happy with. Um. Oh, I was gonna do something. Probably put some lines here. Ah, oh, there was something else. Nope, it's gone. It's gone forever. I ain't ever gonna remember it. Nope, it's gone. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> um. Oh yeah, I want to do this as well. This has been uh, the sand for ages. I want to actually make this into uh, walls. I think. Have that one and that one. Uh, just into like a, a, a checkpoint almost. Like you have to stop at this location uh, before you can come in. So we'll have those coming up there. I think I want to do that one block higher up. So I can then have this block underneath. And then that way it doesn't quite look as... Yeah, it looks a little bit more solid. So we'll have one more. I think all of our, like, lorries and stuff can get under there. Maybe I should go one higher. I don't want I don't want the back of the lorry to get caught in it. Slabs. Um, I want something. I'll use quartz. And I think we'll come out one block on either side. I don't think I need to come over the sides, do I? Yeah, I do. I think it looks better with coming out over the sides. So like this, and then we come down a slab. I don't think I like. I don't think I like it there either. Okay, so we'll have it like this, and another one, and the same on this side. So it's like it's like just something that you drive under when you're coming through into this place. Uh, but you'd have a security guard on here, uh, so you can't, like, get through. Ah! Would it be cool if we had... I'll use this one. Yeah, I'll use this one. If we had... We'll have we'll have it up, so we don't have the same problem as what we had at... Uh, I think I want clay, actually. Um, at the multi-story car park. But we'll have a barrier in the way. Slab. Clay, snow. Uh, I want it up. Oops. Yeah, that way it just looks like the barrier is up at all times instead of closed. If it's closed, you can't drive through it, and it gets really annoying. Uh, so I think that looks just just a little bit neat. Uh, I don't want. We can't have one on the other side. Obviously, if you've come in, then you're already in, aren't you? You don't need to check to be able to get out again. All right. I think that's looking pretty cool. That is all I've got time for this episode. I think next episode we'll probably start on the buildings themselves. But boy, is this looking like a a real neat build. It's it's really fitting, and I need to fix that. It's really fitting in uh, to the the rest of the place. I think I'm actually going to remove this land here. And have this as the ocean, right up to the ocean here. This little slither of land isn't doing anything. I'm not going to be able to build anything on it. And nobody's going to be allowed to come here because obviously it's going to be dangerous. So uh, I think we'll get rid of that. We'll put water there instead. But it's looking like a real nice sort of cut off build from everywhere else. I might put some crates there. I sort of forgot about this area. Yeah, I might put some crates there. And, and fill up that spot. But yeah, look at that. It's looking so busy. Oh. We'll have a look with the shaders on as well. We haven't looked on the shaders for this series on this series, I think since since episode one or something, <laughs> for a for ages. Oh, look at that! Hey. Oh, that's so cool! If you guys enjoyed it, hit that like button. If you haven't already, then feel free to subscribe. We shall see you in the next episode.